Hello guys, a couple of weeks ago this jigsaw uh, gave up so I thought I would show you how the gear mechanism inside it works. So we have over here our, our motor. That is going to the little gear down here which drives this larger eccentric gear. If you watch the little shaft here, you'll see it as the motor rotates. That gear causes this shaft to move up and down, which is connected to the saw blade. So, obviously it does that very quickly, but that is basically how the mechanism works. Now this one, like I said, failed, and you can see that it's struggling to engage with the gear there. Need a lot of help. I'll show you why that is. So, if we take this out of our way for a minute. We take this. That's like the little bush that uh, just allows that uh, eccentric shaft to slide back and forward in this, so that you can convert your uh, rotational motion into a linear motion. So get that out of the way. Actually, we can take this gear off now. And you can probably see that's quite loose, which it shouldn't be, because there should be a bearing. But if we look down into the bottom here, this is all the little rods from the from the bearing. So the bearing has actually disintegrated. Now there's your problem. So normally it should be a lot of these little rods would be making up the bearing. They would be running along the side, it's kind of hard to see but that's that's one of them in there so around the entire circumference of that would be those little rods and there would be a small sleeve inside the bearing and they would be held in place this is all that's left of the little piece that went on the outside to hold it in so it's all disintegrated there, you can see a little bit of the inner sleeve is left here I see a bit still on there oh there's a circlip still on there looks like okay get that off but you can see in here this little bit of the inner sleeve is still in there that's all basically disintegrated and it looks like that was a plastic inner piece that entire mechanism has just come apart there. So there's actually nothing wrong with the motor itself, that's probably a perfectly fine AC motor. But this uh, this part here is completely gone, which means that instead of our gear meshing perfectly all the time like that, it can get offset. Actually this piece had moved in there so that can get offset and the gear can come loose. So, without that, it was never gonna work. There's not much in the jigsaw that's really of any use when when it fails like that. It, maybe a couple of springs you might have some use for. The motor itself is probably fine, but I'm not sure what you'd use an AC motor for unless you had a specific application. The, uh, the brushes on this one are fine like the you can see the this this is what makes the contact to give the power to the coils in the motor so you can see all these little contacts and they're separated so as those contacts pass the uh, the brushes here you get your flow of current around the circuit uh, between both sides that makes the motor spin uh, if another bear in there is probably fine though that's all that there is on that side in the circuitry, we don't really have any circuitry. You have a uh, ferrite bead here, there's a capacitor here, and just our trigger. There is a couple of potentiometers up here. That is for controlling the speed. Not really there. That's probably a, a triac to, uh, you know, to convert the, the signal from this uh, potentiometer. Uh, 
into actual to actually drive the uh, motor one thing that might be useful to salvage it might be this wire that's it might look like copper but it's actually coated so um, there's there's a coating on the wire that prevents it from just short circling to all the other uh, strains of strands of wire there so if you were to take that you might be able to use that in your models because it's quite thin and it's quite uh, flexible but you would have to get the coating off the end to make your solder connection but usually in a motor the wire is pretty good so it might actually be useful getting it out of the uh, this actual steel component is not so simple these brushes on a motor in a in any sort of drill or anything like that they are designed to be replaced so you can unplug that piece and you should be able to get that brush out of there somehow yeah so you undo that screw and then you can take that spring off and that would let the brush out so if you were just trying to repair something like this you could just get this replacement brush and fit that into your whether it's a drill or jigsaw or whatever it happens to be on the motor itself there is the uh, outer case in here which is called the stator it's the stationary part so that's how you can remember it's the stator you have these two big coils so one of these is going to be north and south i think they switch uh, with the, uh, the ac current um, then you have the armature part uh, this is the commutator the part we were looking at earlier which the brushes make the contact with so that's why there's the black mark there that's the the remnants of the brushes going around and uh, on the armature there's lots of different windings so uh, these are the armature windings depending on uh, where what which armatures uh, armature windings are in contact with the two brushes depends on which are being magnetized so as your uh, your stationary your stator winding stay stationary this one's rotating and different uh, windings are getting energized on the armature the internal one as it rotates and those magnetic fields uh, interacting with each other make the motor spin so that's basically how it works and uh, this little plastic piece on the end is just a fan so it'll be sucking air in here and throwing it out so that'll be sucking air across the motor to keep it cool so not really anything worth keeping in this maybe a little bit of wire on maybe a few screws that's about it but uh, for the most part this thing is uh, only good for the bin really so i just wanted to see why it had stopped working and uh, i thought maybe you guys would be interested to see the mechanism some of you mightn't have seen it before so hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching thanks very much for watching guys if you liked the video please hit the like button and if you don't want to miss out on the next video click the subscribe button below and get the bell on for notifications a big thanks to all our patrons sponsors and you guys buying the pcbs for your own projects that all helps to support the channel and keep the content coming and speaking of content there should be links on the screen now to a few more videos if you want to keep watching and if you go to the channel homepage you'll see that there are plenty of playlists there to check out but that's all I have for today, so I'll see you in the next video.